uh, have used uh, the mongoose library to create a uh, schema right that describes the structure of the U of the data that we are retrieving or creating in Mongo and we also told it that the collection that we want to connect to is the users collection all right so beyond that we we need to create a model a mongoose model uh, based on this schema that is going to give us um, access to the actual collection so let's create a models file here so we'll create it we'll call it uh, users.model.server.js and uh, what we'll do is that we'll still need the mongoose object we're gonna require there it is and uh, we're gonna create well we're also gonna need the schema that we just uh, created so users schema we're gonna require the file that loads is in the same directory and we're gonna create a brand new users model now the users model is going to uh, provide us with some really really basic low-level uh, database access uh, functions right uh, very much like the um, repository in in JPA right if you remember the repository provided us with some crud, really simple low-level generic uh, um, crud operations right using the crud repository so same thing the users model that's what it's gonna give us so so users model we're gonna say uh, mongoose uh, model Right, and the model takes two arguments. The first argument is a unique identifier, and and uh, you can call it whatever you want. It's arbitrary. It's just a string. As long as you know it's unique within the mongoose instance that we're using, we're using just one mongoose instance. So within that instance, this string needs to be unique. And usually, it takes the name of whatever it is that you are connecting to. Right. Um, uh, the second argument is the actual schema right, that you you're going to use. So. The user's model is going to give us some functionality to be able to insert, find, delete, update uh, these uh, these documents in that schema, right? And those are very generic functions, right? Very much like the uh, CRUD repositories in JPA were very generic. And notice that it's it's somewhat the same idea as repository, right? If you remember the repositories in JPA, what they took argument uh, they took as an argument to configure them was the class, right? Uh, of uh, of the object that we're storing in the database, yes. Uh, same thing here. But that, that the equivalent here is that we're passing the schema, right, of what it is that we are uh, storing in the database. And finally, we're going to export this. We're going to module uh, that exports exports. We're going to export the uh, the model users model. Okay, there we go. All 